welcome to 7 o'clock. You're on Tamara's Paper Trail. I am Tamara. This is Check It Out Tuesday, Thursday edition. Give me a hidey ho. Let me know who's hanging out with me tonight. Um, yeah, we're going to play. We're going to have some fun. I am going to do a Sci-Hub, something I haven't used before, <laughs> with a fun layout. And I haven't made the card yet. I, it's all right up here. All right up here. <laughs> yes. Oh. Tracy, you're logged in as me. I don't know what's going on. I um, When I popped into my eCam, all of my overlays were gone like two minutes ago. And of course, I'm like, oh, I don't remember how to do this. <laughs> but that's okay. All right. Well, Tamara's Paper Trail. Hi. Yeah. Long time no talk. I've only talked to you, what, about seven times today, right? <laughs> Hi, Wendy, Melanie, Jennifer, and Jennifer. Hello. Hi, ho it's been a day. Holy, I am moving. I am, I'm a little hyper tonight. Not going to lie. It's going to take me a while to just whoo, calm on down, Tamara. Hey, Penny, how are you? Um, yeah. So there is nothing like going away for four days to make you bust your butt so that you can get nine days minimum ahead, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Now you are you, Tracy. Yep. Hi, Nikki. Um, yeah, so we're going away Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We'll be back Friday. And so now apparently I have to have everything on my to-do list done before I leave there or before I leave for there. Um, that all has to be done up to like the end of April, apparently, because now I'm like, I have to do my taxes before I go. Yes, yes, I do. And ooh, all these things that have been on my to-do list for like ever. I'm like, I should really do that. So I've started chipping away. I've been making the phone calls today. I've been doing videos today for problems. You know, this light thing, this light issue that I have where it's now yellow light. So I'm back and forth with the manufacturer there. I don't know how you say it. It's N-E-E-W-E-R. Newer? Newer? I don't know. Anyway, I sent them a message a week ago just saying, hey, my light's not doing what it's supposed to do. Anything I can do about that? Because I tried Google and I was like, oh, no, right? And they came back, well, thanks for contacting us. Can you send us a copy of the invoice? I'm like, fine. Here's a copy of the invoice. Oh, yeah, thanks. It's past the warranty, so we can't send you a new one for new. And I'm like, I'm not asking you for a new one for new. I'm saying, is there something I can do to fix it? Do I just, like, uh, I tried plugging it into it? Like, you know, just help me fix it. And if I need to do, buy a new one, fine. Then they come back, well, yeah, no, there's nothing we can do, but we can offer you a really good discount. I'm like, Okay, well, again, just asking for what to do, but how would one go about getting this really good discount? So, like, it's been back and forth. It's like we're pulling teeth. I'm like, I got all day. I don't care. So I message them back and forth. And then the next thing, um, they say, well, yeah, we'll give you 20% off if you want to buy a new one. Um, and then in the next sentence, they say, well, we checked with, not IT, I don't know, the tech department or something. They said the, the something or other bead is gone. So, yeah, if you can send us a video of that, then we can get you a new one. And I'm like, oh, so no, you can get me a new one. I didn't even want a new one. I just want to fix. I just tell me if there's something I can like switch out. Is it a bulb? Is it overheating? What's the problem here? Anyway, so now I think I'm getting a new one. So I did a video. I sent on the video going, here's my video. Uh, here's the problem. Send me a new one. Sure. Um, all kinds of things. I've been making hair appointments for my daughter for grad. I'm doing all the things. Ah, you're not late, Valerie. No, I haven't. I have to, come on. You got at least eight minutes before I even start doing anything, right? <laughs> There's Kathy and Trudy and tell me about calm down. No, <laughs> five kilometers. Blimey. What the heck? Hi, Cheryl. Nice to see you. Yes. Trina, are you in Vegas? What? I'm very confused about your posts. I'm very confused. If you're in Vegas, nice. Um, yes, I would like a new lab because these weren't cheap and you, I could only buy them when I bought them on Amazon. It was like you got the two of them. They weren't cheap, but anyway. Um, <clears throat> what else have I been doing? Tracy and I are doing videos for our TNT events, our virtual extravaganza. We did a video for that. Uh, oh, I went to the dentist. Oh my God. Oh my God. Hate dentists. I, I, I mean, I don't hate my dentist. He's a nice man and the nurses are very nice and the assistants, but two hours. I'm like, at one point, it'd been about an hour and a half and I kind of put up my hand. So I was like, yeah, you okay? I said, yeah. I said, but I'm not having fun anymore. So if we could make this be done soon. <laughs> so he just looked at me like, huh? <laughs> He's like, are you okay? I said, yeah, I'm fine. I just, I have places to be. Can we just move this along? Not having fun. I don't like the dentist. A few weeks ago. Okay. All right, Trina. I was like, ah, how long did I sleep? I don't know. 
All right. Yes. Hi, Sheila. Hello. No sound. What? No, other people can hear me. Jennifer, it's got to be you. I hope. Okay. Yeah. Cause I'm talking desus. Yeah. Brothers are tired. Uh. Anyway, that was my day. So that was nine 30 and that took me until 1130. Then when I left there, I was like, okay, now I'm getting hangry cause I haven't had breakfast. So I didn't have breakfast until 1223. Then I had a zoom. So listen up, listen up, listen up. I'm doing a thing. I'm doing it. Hi, Myrna. I'm doing a thing. Now I haven't nailed down all the details yet, but save the date. This isn't just for demonstrators. We're opening this up to all customers, stampers, and crafty people. There's going to be a thing on the 20th of March. And I, once I get my act together, I'll do the marketing of it. We're putting on a thing, me and some other leaders from the U S and, uh, Rosemary Coleman. So Trudy, she's your mighty leader. Me, Rose, Barb Brimmel, Wendy Lee, trying to get Julie Davidson. She just came back from Utah as like a million dollar earner. And it might even be 2 million. I'm not sure. She's a bit of a big deal. And um, yeah, we're getting together to do it. Did I say March? Thank you, Tracy. 20th of May. 20th of May. Not March. Lord. May. Because it's already March 23rd. Yes. No. Trina, you're supposed to hear Tamara speak. You're supposed to know what I mean. St Nikki, stop it. Behave. Sit down. You guys. You know what I mean, don't you? <laughs> oh, Trudy. Trudy, you take that back. She did not win Mexico. No, 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 no. I will cut you. <laughs> I won't really cut you. No, she earned Mexico today. Earned it. And I suspect you had something to do with that. I bet that when you qualified or promoted, you probably got her um, points that maybe tipped her over the edge. Yes, that's right. Hear what I mean? Know what I said? That's right. Kim gets me. Hi, Kim. I haven't seen you in a while. Hi. Yes, Rose just earned Mexico. Yes. Thank you very much. All right. Okay. You can, we can be friends again. She earned Mexico. Thank you. You guys know. Anybody ever tells me, oh, so you what? No, there is no winning earned blood, sweat, and some tears. Exactly. Well, your, your spending doesn't get her points, but when you promote and when you qualify, Trudy, that gets her points. So well done. You were a part of her success. So well done. Okay. So tonight let's enough of this yammering on about this. Uh, how do I, oh, am I going to, oh, come on. Flip, flip, flip. Are you going to flip for me? Nope, we're going to do this. Maybe you don't get to see me in the bubble. No, why won't it flip? Okay, wait, I didn't do my overlay right. All right, well, you're just going to look at my hands, and we're not doing this. Um, you can stop that right now. Mm. You can go away. Go away. Done. Okay, you just get to see my safe. Uh, yes, it is virtual. Yes, it is, Trina, because we've got, so far, we've got the four of us. Um, and like I say, there were, it's going to be like the SSS events. And I know what you, you know what that means, Trina. Um, it's going to be virtual. I'm sorry, I'm looking for a tissue. I had a tissue. I don't know where I said tissue went. Um, yes, it's going to be a virtual event. It's going to be approximately, uh, I believe it's about $70 for the registration, but that gets you $50 worth of swag from the new catalog. So I'm sorry you can't see my face. Um, yeah, Nikki, you'll find Rose. She's on TikTok or not on TikTok on um, Instagram. She does reels all the time. So I like to follow her on that. So yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm. Thanks Trudy. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Sheila, how many years? Um, Anyway, so yes, I will be putting out, I, it's really, it's bothering me that my face isn't in a little circle. Hang on, let me see. Oh, I can do this. Hang on. I need overlays. Bear with me. I know how to do this. New camera overlay. And I'm going to do my, yeah, and then I have to make it circle because I don't like it the way it is. So we're going to make the shape around. There's my face. I don't know why I can't flip between the two. Whatever, there I am. All right. <clears throat> so tonight, here's what we're going to do. I showed this card to you the other day. Um, right. So I showed this to you. This is, um, this is my tutorial that I've done for people who order from me next month, which is, what, April. You will get um, a picture and written tutorial on how to make this card. And I've 
just love it. So I was inspired at 28. Nice. Well, there you go, Sheila. You should come to my uh, my online gig if he's away. This, um, I got the inspiration for this card from my new friend, Karen. Oh, short or smart? Karen, Karen, what's your last name? Short, I want to say short, but I also want to say smart. <gasps> We're going to go Karen Short. Are you in the house? Hi, Crystal's from Australia. My friend Karen. Um, love it. So it's called a Z, a diamond Z fold card. So I'm going to show you how to make this tonight, but Scott, there we go. Thank you. Sharon Scott, not smart and not short. Scott. <laughs> Thank you, Trudy. Look at you being in the know. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm going to show you how to make that card layout, but we're going to use something I haven't used before. No, not Karen Duke, Jennifer. Something I haven't used before, the new <clears throat> Rhino Ready Bundle. This is one of the items that is in the online exclusive, and I don't know how much it costs. I don't have a label on the back of it. Uh, but it's a bundle. You can order them at the moment. And I haven't used it before. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some magnet sheets. And for when you ask me where I get these, I get these on Amazon through Mary Mary Marietta's Magnets. And I used to get the ones that were peel and stick that would um, stick to the side of my case. But then if I go to sell it, you can't really peel it off the case. And then I've got my stickers on the back. I've just been buying these ones that just kind of lie in here and then I can move them around. So they're magnetic, Amazon baby. And then I never know which side is the one that's more magnetic. So I do this, okay, this is the more magnetic side. And I'm gonna put all my dies on here. <clears throat> and it's just gonna live in my case right now. So when I do my dies, they tend to live in the case unless they are um, <clears throat> dies that can be used uh, like this, uh, this set of dies. This goes with the something fancy stamp set. Well, I put it in the stamp set and then I forget to have them. So this one I actually, um, I actually keep to the left of me so that I can remember to use them because they're just great label dies. But something that's specific like this, I'm going to keep in the case. Um, so that they're to hand fairly easily. So yeah, there's a lot of different ways and things that you can use. I like these ones. They're quite strong. Um, I have purchased some from the dollar store as well, uh, various places. These are more expensive, but I like the strength of them. So, um, that's what I do. And then some of them, like I say, these ones, I just leave in the case so that they're not, they're still on a magnetic thing, but in the case, just so they're not flopping around. And I do have some that have lost their home. I don't know where they belong anymore. <laughs> mm -hmm. The decal dies. Yes. Those are nice, Nikki. The decaled ones. I like those. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The vent covers. Yeah. At Home Depot. Those are good too. There's a lot. There are a lot of options and I don't mind sending you to those places because we don't sell them. Like we don't sell these magnet sheep. So it's not competing product. Normally I say, okay, don't sell them the competition to the dollar store. <laughs> but for this, we don't have a competing product. So yeah, go to the dollar store if you want to. Um, okay. <clears throat> now let's start with, I'm going to look at this one for the inspiration. So when I did this card, I did night of Navy and then I did lighter colors. And I thought what would be really nice with this, like I freaking, this guy, he's just so cheeky. He just looks like he's just the happiest little hippo ever. Like la 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 la. No problems in my world. I'm just walking around with a bird on my butt. Love him. So I think I will do the dark. This is the basic gray. I think I'm going to start with the basic gray. So I'm pretty sure most of you know how to do a Z fold card. Um, but if not, we're going to start with a standard card base, the five and a half by eight and a half. And we're going to score. Oh, why are we all blurry? Hang on. Do, do, do. Uh, they do, Melanie, um, now. They do on most of them, or on some of them. On the shapes they did, or they do. Some of them do have the numbers. Okay, call me a liar. They used, some of them have numbers, like the, the shape. Some of them do. Let me just check my, I don't know where they are. Some of them do. Okay. Um, mm, 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 mm. Rhino. What did I say? Should I call him a hippo? 
I don't know. Okay. Uh, right. So back to my, where am I doing? I'm going to grab my scoring, um, this thing, stylus. <clears throat> and I'm going to score this at four and a quarter. I'm going to cut it and score it at four and a quarter. And then if you want to, you can score it again. You don't have to, but I am going to score it at two and an eighth, which is two and two ticks in Tamara speak. Two and two ticks. Oh, did I call it a hippo? <laughs> again, you know what I mean. I think. I don't know. All right. So for a Z fold card, you fold it in half as normal. And then you fold it back on itself. So you don't have to have that score line at two and an eighth. You could just fold it backwards. Because math is hard, right? So, and then it doesn't always line up like now. I'm like, erg. All right. So like that. All right. So there's a Z fold, right? So you fold it in half and then you fold it back on itself. Then I thought, well, look, we've got all this paper that I'm, uh, most of us are struggling to use. It's like, oh, I have to have that paper. And then you're like, what do I do with this paper? So this is the animal print stuff. I forget what it's called. Animal something. I don't know what it's called. Um, and so I'm like, well, that's an alligator or a snake, right? And then that's a giraffe, leopard. Mm, mm, don't know what that is. I don't know. Different leopard? I don't know. And then this, I'm like, is this supposed to be a snake? What is this? I don't know. But maybe it looks like rhino skin. It could be rhino skin. <laughs> hey, Carmen. So I'm going to use this piece because why not? I don't know. And I'm going to cut that then. I'm going to go down to... Doo, doo, doo. Oh, you don't <laughs> You don't need to, my permission to to case. Um, it's nice. Etiquette is, Trudy, I was inspired by. Or if you are completely casing it, then yes. You, you just give credit saying, I cased this from Tamara Bertram at Tamara's Paper Trail. That's just good etiquette. Um, yeah. So Karen Scott... I cased the layout from the, the design of the thing, but she had used um, Celebrations paper. But still, she inspired me, so I'm going to give her credit for that. Uh, so that's just good etiquette. All right, so this uh, this layer, this is five and a quarter. So I'm going to do this at five by five and a quarter by four. Sorry, I think that I said that wrong originally. Five and a quarter by four. So that's going to fit in here, but I think I want. I guess it's going to have to go that way, like that. I don't know. And then this piece is going to be two, what is this, two and an eighth. So I want it to be, well, it could be smaller. What I got here? Two, two and an eighth. It should be technically one and seven eighths by five and a quarter. So that already is. So I need one more piece. Because you want the same the same amount of um, border on this piece as is on this piece, right? Because this was two and an eighth, you want it to go down to one and seven eighths by five and a quarter. Donna, no. <laughs> Can you imagine if I started again? Jennifer would have kittens. She would have kittens. That would not be okay. <laughs> and why are you late? I have questions. All right. So I'm going to tape this down. Um, you know what? It's My tape isn't going to like the shiny stuff. So I'm going to put the tape on here. Okay. I'm going to go like this. So I guess the bumps are up. I don't know. Do you think this is supposed to be a snake? I don't think it's really supposed to be a rhino. I don't know. Elder sitting. That's right, Donnie. You told me about that. Good for you. You good human, you. Now, you certainly could make these different patterns, um, but I'm not going to. And in fact, if I was really good, if these patterns actually lined up, they don't. Do these patterns line up? 
it's kind of fun when you can get them to line up. No. All right. So we're going to tape that down there and tape that down there. Yeah, it does look like a snake, doesn't it? Well, it is now rhino. I've never seen rhino skin, so maybe I could talk people into it. <laughs> All right, so that's what we've got so far. Now, I am going to make some diamonds. Actually, I'm going to make some squares and turn them on their side, and then they're going to be diamonds. Okay. So I'm going to make these squares two by two, and I need three of them. One. Two. Three. Okay. Now, I also need a mechanism piece. And for that, I'm going to do two by four and a quarter. And then I'm going to score it at one, at two, at three, and at four. Okay, that's all for now. And then that's gonna be a lot of decorating. That's where I'm gonna fall apart and start floundering like I always do. We are going to burnish these on all of fold lines. So this is our little mechanism. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put this diamond here and I'm going to put this diamond down here. So I've got this one right up at the tippy top and this one right at the bottom and then the, the other tip is like right on this fold, right? So then when you're opening it, it's going to go like this. Now, naturally, we're just going to put glue on this half. So. I don't know what it is with me and liquid glue lately, but okay. So down the middle to the left. All right. So let's do this right at the top down to the bottom. push. Squeeze out any extra. Nice. Line it up on the bottom, line it up on the top, give it a little push. <laughs> Jennifer. Okay, now we need the mechanism. So for this little guy, oh I forgot, I forgot one of the folds here. The main important fold. So we're going to make a little box out of this guy. So we folded him. We're going to put some glue here. Hold, hold, hold and sing a little song. Hi, Amy. Sing a little song. Okay. Should be good. Now, what I want to do is I want to put this right in this corner right here. So I want to put, pardon me, my nose is so itchy. We're going to put this right in the, right in the crick. So we're going to want glue on both of these sides. Uh, let's put that right in the middle here. And then because it's wet glue, I can have some time to just kind of manhandle it a bit. Make sure it's centered kind of where I want it. Looks pretty. I'm just going to eyeball it like that. So I want it to be able to close. I also want it to be able to open. That should work. Okay. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Jennifer cannot. It is now glued in place. You're a smart girl. You can figure that out if you truly meant it, but I think you're just being facetious. 
All right, so that is there. Now we need this next triangle. It's going to go here. So you can see we don't want glue from the tip to the tip because these we don't want glue here and here. We just want glue in this little quadrant over here. Right about there. Ugh. Not happening, Jennifer. So I'm going to eyeball it for now. I'm just going to put it in the middle of this little gadget. And then I'm going to close it. And because I've got some time to kind of maneuver it around and make sure that it's centered where I want it to be. And then I'll just take a little peek. Yeah. So you can see what's going on there. Make sure it's where you want it. And then you can give it a good old firm push and hold it until it's done. Oh, sit down, Jennifer. I'm not picking. You're picking on me, man. I'm sitting here making a card minding my own business. Okay. All right. Now, it comes down to decorating. So, what I did on this one was I had put some designer paper here. But I don't know what I want to do yet. So this is where, like I say, where I start to kind of flounder a bit and it falls apart very quickly because um, I don't know exactly what I want to do. So let's show you the process. I've got half an hour and this is what Tamara does when um, when I start trying to, de to decorate is I will get out all of my toys. Oh, okay, that can sound good. Get out all my toys and I'll get out my stamps. So what my vision is, or was, or kind of was thinking of, the name, Jennifer, I called this, or uh, Karen had called this the uh, Diamond Z Fold. Diamond Z Fold card, just because there's diamonds on it. So what I was thinking is maybe, this is kind of the fun part, so you get to, get to be along for the ride on this one, is let's just say we had this little fella here and then I thought maybe I would do this crazy wacky tree up here because I kind of love this tree so we've never had anything like it and then on this middle one I could decorate it well the other thing I was thinking is I could do a bunch of hippos but then this one kind of looks like he's standing on his head unless I put grass I could do grass kind of here and here but then what do I do here? I'm going to want the third one. But what I was thinking was, if I put this third one in here, you're going to see him. Like, let's pretend this is a stamped image. Oh, that might be cute. The look, he's peeking. Okay, I think I have to do that. Because look, he's peeking. And maybe he's going to be having like a party hat or... Oh, yeah, he's adorable. Okay, I'm going to do that. What do you think? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so cute. And then what sentiment? So it could just be have a great day or you're built tough. You're stronger than you think. Or should it be a party one? Because look at the party hat. I can't even stand it. I love this party hat so much. And there's a little blow, a little blower. Like he could be having a party blower or hope your birthday is a while. Yeah. I'm thinking hoping your birthday is wild. So when I open it, it could be over here. Yeah. Oh, hi, Luann. Welcome. Welcome, Wisconsin. Okay. So then the question becomes, I think I want to stamp him in white and color him because I love to color. I could stamp him on the gray, uh, the smoky slate. But then when it gets cut out, there's the gray edge. And I would prefer a white edge, I think, because I'm going to have white. But yes, I'm, gonna, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. So excited. Okay. Going to have to save the tree for another day. Okay, where's my scrap? This is going to be good. I kind of like it when I have no clue what I'm going to do on a Thursday night. Check it out, Tuesday, Thursday edition. Cool. This is going to be fun. Get all my blocks out. Wah. Block one. Block two. Block three. I'm placing orders in the next couple of days. So if anybody wants to order this, um, let me know. I can save you some shipping. Like, I'm itching to place an order, but I can't really justify it. I need to have enough to make the shipping worthwhile. So if anybody wants this bundle, let me know. 
All right, I'm going to stamp him in the gray granite. No, in the basic gray, pardon me. Okay. So, this guy is just too cute for words, honestly. So, one. <laughs> oh, he smudged. Can't have that. No. Okay, we need more scrap. Let's do this again. He smudged. All right. Chris Stone, so you guys are heading into your fall there, hey? It's getting colder where you are. It was, it's was. it been beautiful here the last few days. It was like plus five. It's been plus eight. I thought I heard it was supposed to snow today, but maybe that was, maybe that's Ontario, in Ontario. I know you guys are waiting for another storm. <laughs> uh, I don't think so, Jennifer. No. No, no, no. All right, so we're going to do those, and then I'm going to have to cut up some other pieces. So we'll do that in a minute. Got to dry, dry, dry. It, back in the day with our, oh, we've got a line through this guy. He's no good. Um, I had a score line through him. Back in the day when we had our old um, cardstock, the Whisper White, one of the selling features of it was it was instantly dry. You could stamp it and then you could rub it and it would not, um, it would not smudge. But this, the new paper, this is a new supplier and um, the basic white it is a slightly different chemical reaction. So I do, if it's too wet, I want to wait for a minute or two for it to dry. Um, and I do find that when I, if it is too wet, a lot of times when I cut them out, the image, the ink will actually transfer to my cutting plate. And then when I go to use it again, I get a shadow of the stamped image. So just uh, food for thought. If you're stamping, it's still a little wet. You might want to just uh, take a, a cloth and wipe it off. Now I'm going to try to find, where's my tape going? Oh my gosh. Uh, there it is. Sorry, let's just look at various parts of my body here. Okay. <laughs> Jennifer. All right. So I'm just gonna tape him in place. I'll do two of them at the same time. Wait a minute. Is there not a die for all three of them? Are you kidding me right now? Really? Or did I take... Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> like that wouldn't even make sense. Okay. So I just like to tape them. You can use washi tape. You can use our repositionable... or No, our, um, our masking tape that we have. I just... I had this long before I had ours... So it's just, actually, he's too high up. So we're going to cut these two first. Just to make sure that they stay where I want them to stay. Okay. Run that through. My dirty, dirty pad. And my cutting plate here. Cut these guys off. Try to get this card finished. We still have half an hour. We're good. As long as I don't diddle around too much with the embellishing. Thank you, Donna. It's been a long day, lady. I hit the ground running this morning. I tell you, I was up at, I had a good sleep though. I think that's why I had so much energy today. I got up at, uh, four, I think I didn't get up till just after seven. Took my shower, got out the door, got to the dentist. Craig had a good sleep too. So he actually fed the dog for me and stabbed the dog. No, I stabbed the dog. Anyway, it was a good team effort today. Team Bertram. It's a good day. It's a good day. Very good day. And everybody's off tomorrow except me. Alicia's off school. Rebecca is off life. Craig, he's off tomorrow too. So it's just me. I'm off to, well, I'm doing my, uh, my coffee break at 10. And then I'm off to dad's. And then I've got a coffee date with my girlfriend. And then I have a class at night. So it's a full on day for me. The rest of the gang, they'll be... I don't know what they're going to do. Not my problem. Okay. So these guys, we're going to color them now. There's going to be no room for the trees. But I am going to do some party hats. Now what color What color do we want to do with the gray? Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, hopefully people know I don't stab my dog. <laughs> yes. 
People do give us funny looks a lot because we do say things along the lines of, well, we're waiting for the dog to die before we replace the carpet. People are like, what? Nice. I'm like, well, no. Like, okay. Yes, he's blind and diabetic and I have to give him insulin. All right. So we're going to do, he has to go there. He's so cute. I need party hats. Okay. Uh, while I color, what color, what accent color? Do we want to go with a pink and gray go nice? Um, I'm going to need some grass, I think, but the grass, like we're not in a really green, green grass, like with these guys where they live, it's like brown dry grass, right? You think I should use a bright green? Oh, for the party? Yes. I love that idea. Thank you, Valerie. Um, mm, 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 mm. these people actually, it's only Donna's, um, Jennifer is in Blackfalls. Uh, actually she's just down the road from you, Trudy. You should hook up with Jennifer. Uh, okay. I like the parakeet. Parakeet will look nice with the gray and ditch the grass, but I want him to be grounded. He can't just be floating. He's, it looks like he's standing on his head. So I don't want to ditch the grass, but I do want party hats and party favors. So where is the party favor stamp? I'm going to make it green. I'll do that over here. Yes. Yes. She's just around the corner from you. Princess, hook up with Trudy. She needs friends in the hood. She's new to Red Deer. Yeah, okay, if you say so. So I can do green and I won't get yelled at. It's kind of like when people have nativity scenes and there's snow. I'm like, I'm pretty sure that in Bethlehem there wasn't any snow. Pebbly stuff, pebbly stuff, pebbly stuff. There's pebbly stuff? Uh, well, you're too, Nikki, but okay, I'm sorry. I can't remember everybody. I'm trying to make a card. I'm trying to have a conversation. Guys, don't pick on me. Okay. You guys, you have your sidebar. You you chat and figure it out. <sighs> Nobody yell at me. Tracy. I'll tell Tracy on you. Okay, so the party hat and the party blowers are going to be in parakeet. That's it. I'm just not going to acknowledge comments from the hecklers then. They're going to yell at me. Yelling at me. Speckled paper. One of the dyes done in speckled paper. What's speckled paper, Valerie? Speckled paper? More information. So I like your ideas. I just don't know what speckled paper is. Oh, you guys. You have to call you snowflakes if that's how easy your feelings are hurt, Nikki. Come on now. Okay. There's the party hat. <laughs> I think actually I'm going to do this party blower in gray and then color him. That's going to get lost. <laughs> See, Nikki, I was only referring to Jennifer because I figured Trudy said she wants to meet, I was assuming the other hecklers. And you don't heckle me like the others do. So that's why you weren't included in the Black Falls comment. Sheesh. Okay. All right. So I'm going to cut out the party blower. I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to do with the grass. I think I might do maybe old olive for the grass or something a little bit darker as an accent. <laughs> Gray paper with splotches. Hmm. Okay. Maybe. I'll give that some thought when I get to that point. All right. So we've got this. Thank you for the ideas, Valerie. Valerie's nice to me. I like Valerie. Okay. That made it sound like I don't like the rest of you. Okay. That came off wrong. I can't, I'm not going to say anything else. I'm just going to make my card. Okay. So, these guys, but I do want the grass, so let me just, I haven't cut the grass, oh, I see. Okay, so I have to stamp the grass and then cut it out. So, maybe, 
Let's try it in. I'm going to stamp it. This is Pear Pizzazz. I'm not even going to read those comments. I'm not reading you. La, 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 la. Okay. So I'm stamping tone on tone. So this is uh, Pear Pizzazz on Pear Pizzazz. Give my little baby boss. Am I dropping anything? No. Okay. Now I'm going to cut with this grass. I might need two of these. Maybe I should stamp another one while I'm here. Maybe I even need three of them. grab the right size scrap when you need it, right? Honestly. And then all the other scraps fall on the ground. Yes, they do. Okay. All right. Well, seriously, you girls should get together, honestly, because you're all not that far away from each other. I might hate this grass. I'm not sure. I was hoping that it would be more spiky. But... Uh, Nicole is home, and I believe Pat's home too. Nicole is doing much better. Uh, Nikki and Pat, I believe, was supposed to be going home this week as well. But I haven't heard from her directly. But yes, Nicole is much better much better but it was very dangerous she could have died yes very not good but she's better okay we'll do one more in case. Little color. Slap this bad boy together. 742. I would love it if I could make this in an hour and love it. I love when that happens on a Tuesday when I don't really have the whole thing in my head. I really thought I was going to use the tree. So this makes me happy. So we have a party blower and a party hat. Do we have any balloons? I could use a balloon from a different set, but it might take me forever to find said balloon. Um, who's got, okay, balloons. I have all my animal sets just over to the side. All of my animal sets. So look at this. Hey, birthday chick. Hey, look, here's a balloon. Here's what I'm going to do. Hopefully this will work out. I am going to stamp the balloon in the gray. Yeah, I've got the balloon punches. I do. Juicy. Stamp off. That'll be fine. We do have lots of grass dyes, but of course, when you when you're looking to put your hands on one, it's like, hmm, where was that? Okay, so this this is retired. I sort of apologize. I want a balloon. So, you can probably find it online though. This is the Hey Birthday Chick and the matching dies. Okay, I think now we can start coloring. Cute. I think that'll work. Here's an overshare. My underwear is cutting into my stomach. What is going on here? Okay. 
over here. All right, let's get busy coloring parakeet gray. Okay. Oh, the little bird. What color? I think I want him to be. Should he be parakeet too? What color should I do the bird? Or should he be blue? Maybe he should be pink. Thoughts? Vote now. What color should Mr. Bird be? Because he might be holding a balloon. Something like that. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Uh, yeah, I did cut out the blower. I sure did. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to color that in the dark so we know how to open them, right? Push gently away from your project. And I like to give it a little shake over my hand in case there's some splotchy. And I'm going to try not to... Do I have a clean? Like, Lord knows, I've got 5,000 papers. Surely I can find one that's clean. Okay, here we go. Um, I'm going to try not to cross the lines. I'm going to color up to the line, try to get close to it, try not to touch it, because it will bleed a little further past where you're touching the blend. And what color should the, it's all going to be green. Let's not overthink this, Tamara. Party blower. Okay, check. Then we've got the hat. And I'm going to do the balloon. I'm getting close to the edge. I'm going to try not to get too crazy over these little hashes. I'm going to try to go in between them. Now, balloons often have a white patch. So if you just kind of go over the balloon again, but leaving one little patch, It'll make it look like it's a little bit shiny on one side. And or you can take your color lifter. And if you just, um, it's going to leave a bit of a watermark, but it's going to make it a little bit lighter on that one side. So you can see how it's removed the color. Actually, I should have just want to scribble it off and make sure that no color picked up there. So it's a bit of a watermark, but it makes it look like it's a little bit shiny over there. Okay, now, party hat, balloon, blower. Now for our guys, now I mentioned this um, when I've shown this before, these, these I suspect will go into low inventory because everybody who orders this adorable set is going to want the blends to go with it. So guess what people are going to buy when they're buying the, um, the set is they're going to buy the blends as well. So if you don't have a nice juicy set, this would be a great time to add it to cart. So I'm going in with the light. Again, trying not to get, at this point, I'm being careful in five minutes, I might go out, oh, screw it, and I'll just cross the lines. But if I can be careful, be careful. I'm going to go in with the light. And then I think I'll do his ears and his tail and his horn darker. I'm just going to go over this part. and If it bleeds, it bleeds. His little ankles. Ah, he's so cute. This guy, though, I just love this cheeky little grin. Not a care in the world. Okay. I think I have to color his toenails. So why not? I think I want some blue eyes. Um, so for that, I'm going to go in with rotation tide marker. <laughs> I just add a titch of blue. But I think actually I want blue nails too. Why not? He's my rhino. He can have blue nails if I want to. All right. Um, I should put the lid on that. I'm going to go in with the darker one. Hello, Marcella. All the way from Florida. 
Actually, I should be using just the marker for these because it's such a fine area. And I'm going to do the darker on the tail and on the horn. Rhino number one. <laughs> the blue nails. <laughs> I don't know why. Okay, I'm gonna while I'm here, I might as well do the same on all of them. Horn. They are not a good looking creature. Alicia and I have been watching the Disney um Wild Kingdom. Disney's Wild Kingdom. It's like an animal show about all the animals of the Wild Kingdom. And they were showing the rhino. And I'm like, you know, it's really not a good looking beast. <laughs> It's really quite yuck. They have personality though. Okay, and then this one. Maybe they're all gonna have different colored toes. So one's gonna have pink. Melon mumbo. You get melon mumbo pink. Why not? Should put a little bow, make this a she rhino. Okay, and then this dude, I think he's going to get the parakeet too. All right. Did we decide what color the bird's going to be yet? I didn't, wasn't reading the comments. Bird, maybe you're going to be parakeet. Um, you know what? Tahitian Tide is right here. You get to be blue. Mr. Bluebird on my shoulder. should have a colored beak but anyway oh these guys have to have eyes that are colored too you get to have blue eyes too and your eyes are closed okay all right it is party time oh i didn't color these guys though <laughs> with a light because we got to finish our coloring I'm curious to see how this all comes together pick up the pace bertrams oh 752 how did that even happen We're just going to have to go over time. But really, I'm just going to color, stick it down, and it shouldn't take too long. I just have to do the sentiments. I just mailed off my queen bee pieces today to those who have registered. So if there's anybody else who would like to class to take the class, I have three spots left. Would love to have you. It's April fourteenth. Mm, so I get my right months right. So yes, uh, for anybody who's watching tonight, no, I will put up. Um, I'll put up a a post. But there will not be a mystery card Monday on Monday because I will be in beautiful Canmore with my family doing nothing or eating Thai food or walking in the fresh mountain air or reading a book or taking a nap. So I won't have a mystery card Monday. I don't know. It's crazy. All right. So let's call that done for now. Now, I would like to, though, um, gosh. I do want, hold on, I want a layer, I do, and it wasn't reading, and I, okay, so, look, I've got my papers, these are my neutrals, Let's see if there's a, a paper that I can use here that I like in the grays. Dot. I'm sure that those patterns are blowing my hair back. I think I might have some old stuff in here too. Old neutrals that are retired. What are these? Neutrals. Here's some other neutrals and other patterns. Let me see what I've got in this. <laughs> You'd have to find me. Okay, these are, I like these patterns better. All right, here we go. Oh, look. Yeah. Okay. So this is retired. These, uh, maybe not. Oh, these are 2022, 2023. So I think I'm going to do this pattern. 
There are also polka dots and a plaid. No, that's, I'm going to do this. So for these, we need to chop these at one and three quarters by one and three quarters, and I need three of them. Nope, there's this, um, I can't tell if this is the gray granite. It might be the granite. I'm not sure that that's right. Let's look again. So here's sand. I think I do want the dark. I think I do, actually. That's Sahara. Ah, that's the gray. I think. No, you know what? I think I want the dark. Try again. Do over. Wait, is this the dark? No. <laughs> what are three quarters? Oh, but that's not going to go so nice. Uh, maybe it will. Because it's a directional pattern, this might be a bad idea. Let's see. We're going to go over time. If I just didn't yammer at the beginning. Okay, so these are going to be sideways. Is that going to be a problem? Do we care? What's the other side do? Flowers, no. Most of it's going to be covered anyway. Just do it, Tamara. Don't overthink it, for goodness sakes. Yeah, I know there is a lighter one in there, Jennifer, but it's too late now because I've already taped down two of the three. It's fine. We've got a light rhino is going to sit on top of them. So, okay, let's assemble. Let's go, 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 go. Go, go, go. You can make one with the lighter gray when you get your bundle. And then you can post it and show us. Okay. He's going to go on the bottom, and I think I'm going to pop him... Up. We're not going to use too many dimensionals on the inside because it's already going to be pretty poofy. Okay. And then this one. Uh, Wendy, yeah, I've got a book on places um, in the mountains, like hikes in the mountains. So, yeah, I'll keep that Johnson Canyon. It's got to be pretty easy for us Bertrams because we don't leave the house, like, ever. So we can't get anything too crazy. Uh, but I'll keep that in mind. And where is Rhino number three? Where are you, little buddy? Did I not cut you out? Yes, I did. All right, somebody find me my third rhino. Seriously, the desk isn't that messy. Did I not? I mean, I've got him here, but he was smudgy. For God's sake. I'm sure I cut him out. Did he end up in the bucket? Where did he go? I colored him. I know I did. Okay, we'll find him in a minute. I don't know where he went. Anybody see him? He's gone. Dang it. He's like the focal point. I need him. I had. He was with the balloon. The balloon was on his butt. I had him. Come on. I might have... But he was just here with the balloon. He shouldn't be far from the balloon. I know. I cut and color him. I remember that. Okay, he's not here. For God's sake. Of course, because I'm running low on time. It's not on the floor. I colored him. 
Story of my life, honestly. Are you in here? There he is. Seriously. Jerk. Okay, I'm not going to pop him up because he's going to be in there already. So I'm just going to put some glue on him uh, on the back of him because I don't know how far over he's going to go. So he's going to go. I want him to peek like here. So that's the beauty of glue. So he's going to be here like that. Twist him a bit so he's not so crooked. Like that. Okay. So he's going to have a balloon here. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I'm such a nerd. So he's going to go right under this bird bit of bulk to him there. I'm just going to hide behind the bird. <laughs> okay, we'll see about some of the grass maybe. I'll think about the grass. Give the grass some serious thought. Meanwhile, we need a party blower and a party hat. Party hat. Maybe wear a party hat. Party hat. I also kind of want a party hat on his nose. But anyway, we're going to do this on here. We'll put it on his little ear. <laughs> Sorry, Jennifer. This probably should have gone on a dimensional. Actually, I want it on dimensional, so let's just wipe that off. It is adorable. I do say so myself. Party blow right there. Yes, so um, like I say, if you would like this bundle, I can't remember how much it was, but it wasn't ridiculous amounts of money. I would love to put an order in and get you this bundle. I don't want, but maybe it looked better on him over here. I guess it's got to go this way. Or, well, yeah, I guess it goes this way. All right, fine. Overthinking it again. I'm sorry, Jennifer. Yeah, you can tell on me totally. So he's got a balloon and party hats. Now, yes, it's 803. Too bad. So sad. I have to finish this because I do. And you need to see how it ends. So. Um, hope your birthday is wild. It's a great day. I could do, I would like to do a banner here. Get, um, get some scraps, various sizes here. Hope your day is wild. Uh, I had an extra. I could do it's a great day. Sure, I could do whatever I want. It's a great day. I'm going to do that in the green. No, I'm not, Donna. She's made me buy plenty of things that uh, we just enable each other. It's a great day. Too low. Still a little low. Still a little low. <laughs> Go high. Go high, Tamara. There. Nailed it. <laughs> it's a great day. And then um, I hope your birthday is wild. That is going to go. Do I have any fun punches that would work? Uh, this one fit here. I bet it does. Let's see. Oh. 
might not. Das, hope your birthday is wild. Chopper went. Chopper, chopper, chopper. It's a great day. Flag end it. It's fine. It's only 8.05. We're okay. It's okay. Alicia's not home, so she's not like, Mom, it's 8 o'clock. It's a great day. I'm going to pop that up on dimensionals if I can find them. I can. Here they are. Great day. Choo. Hope your birthday is wild. Just gonna go down here. The, the dimensional backing. Hope your day is wild. Then. to see it needs more decorating and I can't have it without a little something something here yep I'm doing it See, you don't have time to overthink it. Place and go, place and go. And he's, I know there's a third piece of grass in here somewhere. Here it is. Thanks so much, Ida. It's fun. And I'm ready to do it here. He's going to have, yep, I'm doing it. Grass there. And I could even pop some up here when it's closed. No, um, no, no. You put it down here. I'll probably find a few rhinestones and so on and so forth, but um, I'll do that as I go. But oh my gosh, how cute is that? It's a great day. Hope your birthday is wild. I love it. Oh my gosh. Love it. Love it. Love it. Even though it's got, you know, <laughs> um, whatever the um, snake paper behind it, but so cute, right? And I like that their nails are colored. Just adds a little different, a um, little more color to it. So, so cute. So there, I challenge you to, um, how can I do this now? I challenge you, no, and now this one's got to be to <laughs> make a card. Okay, stop that. With this layout, this diamond Z fold because it's just so cute. And then order the stamps and the bundle. You won't regret it. How could you regret it? Look at that, so cute, so cute, so cute. All right, 10 minutes over time. If I wouldn't have chatted this um, before I started, then we would have been on time, but um, that's it. So tomorrow, if you're free at 10 o'clock, pop in for coffee break. 
Um, I'll go through all the stuff and the things and what's coming down the line while I'm away because I'm not, I'm not, unless I can pre-schedule it before I go, I am not posting um, what's going on. On the 29th is the color refresh and all that kind of stuff. So uh, pop in at 10 o'clock and give me a hi ho and have a cup of joe with me. Okay. We'll see you tomorrow. I will not see you Monday. No mystery card Monday and there will be no check it out like next Thursday. I'm not live either. So all next week, I, uh, I should probably go f live a week from tomorrow as well. So on the Friday, I should be back for coffee break. But Monday and Thursday, I'm not live. So anyway, thanks for hanging out with me, you guys. We'll talk to you soon. Good night.